That's fine. Working in the studio. Shouldn't disturb him. Please don't go up to him. You know how angry you make him. The prodigal returns, father. No fatted calf. A little more emphasis on the highlight. You know, Marcia, my love, I think you're putting on weight. Jane's here. Oh, not perfect, Mr. Davis. Nothing is perfect. Nothing and no one. That's a sad fact of life. Take uh, Marcia, for example. Look at her. Beautiful, isn't she? Now look at my wife. She was beautiful once. Weren't you, my dear? Sorry, Victor. Why have you brought that thing to my table? I've told you before, I won't have it. Somebody there? Are you looking for these? Thanks. Would you like a drink? No. It's a pity. Because I don't like drinking on my own. Still, needs must. I'm surprised to find you still here. You see, Victor usually gets rid of his birds pretty regularly. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not really surprised that you've lasted the course. Because you really are. Sometimes I envy my father. Don't you find that funny? Why should I? Envying a psychopath. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why not? I've had plenty of practice. You said it. One day I'll show you. I'll show the lot of you. I'm every bit as good as my father. Oh, yes? What at? It's a fine morning. Yes, it's lovely. Are you sure you wouldn't like a little toast? No, thank you. It's not healthy. Going about breakfast. He's nice, isn't he? He's been with Victor for something like 30 years. Used to help him when he did his own casting. Sort of studio technician. But don't you need lots of equipment for that, a forge and things? Oh, he's got one. See that stone building over there? Yes. This used to be an old tin mine. Victor converted the furnace they used for smelting tin. But he doesn't use it anymore. Good morning, Michael. Isn't Jane up yet? Don't ask me. Uh, all right. Oh, I'd always be all right. We had a terrible row last night. She went back to London. In the middle of the night? Yes, well, she's done it before. I remember when we were on holiday in Spain, she left. Didn't see her for three weeks. She's always doing it. And you don't blame her either. I didn't hear her go. Nor me. I heard her drive away. It's a beautiful morning. I've been for a long walk. I trust that you, Mr. Davis, and the lovely Millie are going to take full advantage of our good sea air. Yes, we hope to later. After we've talked business. 
Oh, Michael didn't give you a little game away. You did. I did? By coming here. You're not one of Michael's friends. You're not the sort. Besides, I noticed there were one or two bits and pieces missing from my collection some weeks ago. I wondered what had happened to them. I suppose my son stole them and sold them to you. I didn't steal them. We won't go into that now. Oh, don't be embarrassed. I'm, of course, delighted to see you for whatever the reason. Especially when you bring such a lovely companion. I suppose it would be too much to hope that she might be persuaded to pose for me. Now, just a minute. Don't I have any say in this? <laughs> of course you do, my dear. It's just our little joke. Mr. Davis, perhaps you'd like to come along to the studio and we can talk. Yes. Oh, yes, do come too, Michael. After all, you'd better protect your business interests. Victor, will you be needing me today? Not until this afternoon. I thought I'd go down to the beach. Good idea. Now, why not take Millie along with you? <laughs> Look at her. Isn't she desirable? Wouldn't any man want her? That mad, senile old hag isn't the woman that I knew. Feels good. All right. That's a lovely kimono. Where'd you get it? In a market. Market? Yes, I collect Victorian things. I often go round to sales in markets. You can pick up things very cheaply. It's my hobby. You'd never believe it. That was a pound. No. <laughs> yes. Here, now it's my turn. If you like Victorian things, you should come to the boutique. Boutique? Yes, that's the business side. I've got a small boutique. I specialize in Victorian things. I do hate the mark that your bikini leaves, don't you? I sometimes sunbathe with no clothes on. Do you? How would you feel? No. I'd be too embarrassed. But no one can see. Bad luck, darling. <laughs> To me, a beautiful woman is worth more than rubies. Her skin, her hair, her body are the earth, fire and air of creation. To look at her, to caress her, to possess her, this is all I ask of life. Did you know that Millie it's agreed to pose for me. No, no, Victor, I forbid it. I heard you come up. I assume you want to work. 
Correct, I do. How do you want me? Shall I take up this morning's pose? No, go to bed. What? Don't tell me. Well, you won't be needing me tonight, then. Or ever again. What does that mean? I would have thought that was quite plain. You don't think you can get rid of me just like that, do you? Why not? You were paid well enough. Paid for posing, maybe. But that's not all I did. Well, that was up to you. Look, I'm not some little art school tart you pick up and throw away just when you feel like it. You've had other girls before, I haven't minded. It doesn't bother me if you just want to sleep with her. You're beginning to sound as though you thought you had some say in the matter. Don't think I haven't. And what do you think you can do? Oh, get out before I lose my temper. Just what has she got that I haven't? What's so special about her? This girl has an inner radiance, such as I've only seen once before. Hers is a beauty of the soul. And it's her soul I shall capture through my art. Oh, very impressive. But don't think I'm just going to sit back and take it. Because I'm not. Oh. Millie, my love. Here, let me. I've been talking to Victor about you. You have definitely made a conquest. I hope that was your intention. He just said he wanted to do a few sketches. Is that what he said? Nothing else? No. Why? Well, he was going on a great deal about your beauty. I must say I agree with him. Are you going to pose for him? Well, I don't really want to, but what can I do? He can be very persuasive. He frightened me. But I expect I'm just being stupid. I suppose he told you you inspired him. He tells him all that. Oh, don't worry, we all fall for it. Even I did once. How long have you been with him? Long enough. I've never posed for an artist before. Do you think this will be all right? <laughs> You're so naive. Once he gets you in there, you don't think he'll give a damn about what you're wearing, do you? Don't forget, if things get a bit much, my door is always open. So you came after all. 